game to punch a ticket to the Sweet 16. And it's the top seed that is here. The North Carolina Tar Heels. We're in the Midwest region. The winner headed to Kansas City. North Carolina against the nine seed, the Washington Huskies. Hi, everybody. Brian Anderson along with Chris Weber. Allie LaForce is here as well. And let's get right to it. you got a great defensive team in Washington and a powerhouse offensive team in North Carolina. Yeah, if you're Washington, you want to get in the passing lanes. Use that amoeba zone not to give players a side of movement. They're weak on the glass, and they only average about 70 points. How about North Carolina, though? They average 86 points, led by Kobe White. He's kind of a score-first guard, but he gets everybody involved. As well. We are ready to go. Garrison Brooks will jump it with Amir Wright. North Carolina controls the tap. Away we go. Washington, the nine seed, coming off a win against Utah State. That was a 78-61 win. Cameron Johnson gets off the first shot. It's an air ball. Thibel got a hand on it. And Brooks, now Johnson with a follow. So Brooks misses two offensive rebounds in the first possession for the Heels. Plus 10. Plus 10 rebound margin for North Carolina. They average about 44 a game. No matter how good you are on the defensive end for Washington, you don't get a stop until you secure the board. David Crisp, the point guard for the Huskies. Here's the player of the year in the Pac-12, Jalen Noel. Washington will use a lot of clock in their offensive sets. And it is Hamir Wright, air ball on the three. And it is Brooks on the floor. Shot clock violation. North Carolina ball. We talked nope. about the pace of Washington. And it's okay if they play slow, but you can't play slow when you're behind. So they may need to speed the pace up at times. Also, the defense of North Carolina. Great passing. One of the best passing teams in the country. Did and May Luke actually, May. sorry, did May actually miss that shot? It, it looked like he missed it, and it was <laughs> goal tended in by a Washington player. But May, how about that? He was in the gym today working. You know his game is good inside in the post and a wonderful passer. A senior, such a great facilitator. You think about North Carolina. Four years now, and all in the May era, Lay, uh, May and Kenny Williams, they've had three number one seeds and a number two seed. In the corner, Matisse Thibel misses on the three. And on the move comes Kobe White, the freshman. And he throws it away. Too tall for Kenny Williams. Turnover, North Carolina. Saw that it was a weird play there. He grabs it and almost knocks it in off the glass up top himself. Getting that in. But again, right now, if you're Washington, you want to make sure you get that ball inside. See if Dickerson can go to work, even though he may be a little bit on the side. Noel, he's quick. And he is crafty. And if Washington has a chance to advance, you figure Noel is going to have to have a big game. Quickly come the heels. Johnson misses the three. Mike Hopkins, head coach at Washington. 22 years an assistant under Jim Beheim. He said yesterday he felt like Kobe White is going to be the primary target. He also said Cameron Johnson can kill us beyond the arc. There's a foul on the breakaway as Williams goes down. And Mike Hopkins, second year at Washington, back to back Pac 12 coach of the year. What a job he's done. Roy Williams, UNC class of 1972. And Roy Williams continues to be one of the greats in the game, setting a new standard. You see Dickerson heading to the bench for Washington. Shot clock question here. Washington making adjustments early with Dickerson going to the bench. And no matter how deliberate Washington plays on the offensive end, they better get back on the defensive end. We've already seen North Carolina get a wide open three off of a play that came through the hoop and they had to get it in. North Carolina plays great pace. So Dickerson will sit. He had a 20 point game in their win against Utah State. This is Garrison Brooks. Dribbles himself free, gets a friendly bounce. Outstanding defender, great shot blocker. And when he gives them some offense, North Carolina is even more dangerous. One of the three ACC teams has a top seed on the take. Jalen Noel scores with a left. Beautiful way that he switched hands there. He waited to the last second to switch to his left. Nice finish. And a whistle kickball. 
Look at this. He goes up with his right. Psych goes up under the arm, finishes with the smooth left hand. Jalen Noel, just a sophomore from the Seattle area. Just keep an eye on this Washington zone defense and how North Carolina attacks it. Maybe this is his first try to three. That's his spot, though, that corner three. Dominic Green on the floor for the first time. Sam Timmons soon to be checking in for some size for Washington. And now Chris calls for the screen. Chris dumps it in. Here's Amir Wright. Caught it deep. Wright can't finish it in there. So much length inside for North Carolina. Great job by Chris right there on the vision. He got the play that he won. Carolina, their 50th NCAA tournament appearance. Ninth consecutive. Inside, May is fouled. Two free throws coming for the senior, Luke May. What a career he has had. His father, Mark, quarterback at North Carolina. His brother, Cole, a baseball player, was on the national championship team with the Florida Gators. The same year, Luke May and the Tar Heels won a national championship. Hey, a reminder that delicious orange vanilla Coke really wanted to be the official drink for timeouts, and now it is. Substitutions here for Roy Williams as Nasir Little is in for Garrison Brooks. Good early minutes there for Garrison Brooks as Timmons checks in as well for Washington. Just underway here in Columbus, Ohio. We saw a thriller in our first game as Tennessee takes down Iowa in overtime. Iowa coming back from 25 down. Timmons finally got away with a travel, and he gets it to go. The big man from New Zealand, the junior at 6'11", Sam Timmons. Could play a big factor today. He's little, too strong. May last touched it. Washington ball. Takes us to a timeout. 15-54 remaining in the first half. 8-6, Tar Heels. Welcome back to Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, where UNC and Washington are underway. Washington hasn't been to the NCAA tournament since 2011, but do not allow the lack of NCAA tournament experience on the roster fool you because the coaching staff is loaded with NCAA tournament veterans. They have 49 NCAA tournament appearances combined and three national championships. Coach Hopkins himself has been 17 times as a coach, three times as a player, and I talked to Matisse, and he said we played against Tyler teams before the key that we have gotten from our coaches is you can't let the name on the jersey fool you all right now thank you there's a steal by Kenny Williams easy two for North Carolina and you look at that Washington bench with Dave Rice former head coach at UNLV played at UNLV as well Cameron Dollar was a national champion at UCLA and they're gonna rely on that experience because this is the first time for these players after a victory in their opening game against Utah State, and it was a close game, even though it looked like a 17-point win. They pulled away late, did Washington. Gonna have to protect the ball, though. And this is North Carolina, not disrespecting the names on the jerseys, taking the team very serious, and Coach loves the fact they're in the passing lane, and I love the celebrations on the bench. Right there showing you how the finger roll was done. There's a steal. I tell you, there's no player in this tournament like Matisse Thibel. He has rewritten the record books, and it turns into a three from Noel. One of the great steals artist. That was a long two it is scored for Noel. They will take a look at it, and it's a little on the other end. The answer quickly by the Heels. Well, my count has been four times North Carolina already has gotten a shot in that slot area. The zone, you're susceptible to offensive rebounding, and maybe more importantly, to that mid-post high man that can pass and also score from that position. Isaiah Carter picks up his dribble. Thibel working inside to Noah Dickerson, who had 20 and 12 against Utah State. Slow start for Dickerson. Run to the floor. Johnson. Johnson goes to the hole. Good defense and good hustle by Noah Dickerson. And they will take a look at this at the next dead ball, but we'll give you an advance notice. I'll tell you, that's close. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. We will see. Dickerson inside that last time bothered by the height. 
inside of the big fellas. But that's the shot that you want. But I'm a little disappointed with Washington's attention to detail, allowing North Carolina to get out and run. Defense is their game. They know they should communicate and get back. Right in the middle of that zone, Matisse Thibel has Gary Payton all-time steals record. And White hits a three. He was the focus on the game plan defensively for Washington. And Mike Hopkins sees him get loose for a three-pointer. Kobe White does not play like a freshman. He plays like a veteran with superior confidence. Turnover, another one. Active hands, Kenny Williams into the hands of May. And the big man will take it himself. And May lost the handle. Last touch by Dickerson. Look at the block by Tybal that time with Kobe White. Shooting it from Curry range out there. But Tybal getting back in the play. And that's the thing about him as a defender. You can get by him. But guess what? You better check your rear view member mirror because he can still get a swap coming from behind. First break for Cam Johnson. As Roy Williams has Brandon Robinson on the floor. His first minutes. Williams gives it up. White open again for three. Knocks another one down. Kobe White, 36% three-point shooter this year. Takes six and a half a game, and he's hit two already. When you don't have a high-powered offense, you cannot just rely on your defense to get in. You need more scoring and attacking just like that as you see Carter go into the hole because you're playing with a different animal. You're not used to North Carolina in your conference. May powers his way in. What's the call here? Officials look at each other and an offensive foul. Looks like Michael Irving. No, I beg your pardon. It's a block. So count the basket. He was not saying offensive foul. Look at that execution right there. And you can be one of the best defensive teams, but if you haven't seen the type of stacked horses that North Carolina has, the big guys inside, the smart, the inside and out play, the deliberate play by them as May knocks it down, then you're going to have to adjust your defense on the fly. And I'm sure Coach Mike Hopkins, he's used to it. He's going to make some adjustments. UNC number one seed for a record 17th time this year. They've had three number one seeds in the last four years. Carter turns a corner and a foul on the floor. Brandon Robinson will be called for the foul. Carter's penetration is going to be so important. White has effectively taken Chris out of the game because Chris can't get by him on penetration. Therefore, Carter seems like he has an advantage. He may need to become the facilitator. White able to deflect that one. Very nearly a turnover. Carter passes up a three. Noel gives it. Messiah Carter for three. No. And a big follow there, but couldn't finish it. Dominic Green was up high, but he and Noah Dickerson fighting for the rebound. But this is what you have to do. You'll figure it out. The only thing you can be constant with is your effort. And right now, Washington trying to fight on that defensive end. 21 10, North Carolina. A couple of threes by Kobe White. There's some separation. White again. He's feeling it. And it's Dickerson with the rebound. Dickerson had 12 boards in Washington's win against Utah State. Averages seven and a half a game. Can be a handful. Garrison Brooks back on the floor. Took a shot to the nose. Dickerson goes strong. Scores the layup. But the officials want to take a look at this. I understand so. that you have to take a look at it. But a lot of times, offensive fouls, tough to call a flagrant because you're not necessarily trying to hurt a player. That's just a sweep through. It took a shot, a bloody lip for Garrison Brooks. And John Higgins, Michael Irving at the table to take a look at this one. You could tell right away Brooks was in trouble. He went down and the blood showed quickly. May have missed an offensive foul there, but I don't see how it could be anything but a maybe a missed call there. Every big fella, every guard that plays and denies is used to getting popped in the face one or two times. That's why a lot of players don't have the nerve to stand in there. He does, takes one for the team. And Ron Groover on his way over for an explanation. Play stands is called on the floor, he says, if he didn't catch that. So Great there job. was no 
There was no foul on the original call. Gene Steratore is with us. What do you have there, Gene? I'm a little confused if he said there was no call on the floor, but they have a foul. If they have anything, if they have no call on the floor, they have to either have a flagrant one or nothing. Mm -hmm. To me, it looks like a regular basketball move sweep, and that's why they probably went with nothing on that. That would be my educated guess. It appears that that's what they've done with it as well, guys. Right, Gene, thank you. Great to have Gene Steratore with us this year for March Madness. Great insights. Yeah, we'll take his educated guess. Ten out of ten times. Chris on the attack gives it up. And Carter for three. He was running after that one. That one felt good out of the hand. Nazaya Carter. You already see that Carter's going to have to infuse himself in the offense. He's going to have to beat Chris. Chris is usually that guy getting those shots, but the defense right now zoned in on Chris. Carter, he can get his own look. This here Little. That was deflected. Kobe White, step back. Top three. Oh, oh, Kobe. Come on. What a shot. I don't know if that's the first option for Roy Williams, but he's got to cook it early here. Kobe White with three threes already as Chris finds Thibel. And White kept it alive for Little in transition. Johnson gives it up. And Robinson finishes. The fast break ability of the North Carolina Tar Heels. Coach Williams allows anyone to push it up. We saw May push it up earlier, and that's what you have to watch. I don't know if there's a more balanced team in all of college basketball than North Carolina. They play inside out, and by the way, this may be Coach Williams' best three-point shooting team. Certainly the team that plays with the quickest pace in the Roy Williams era. White went behind the back, lost the handle. Chris got a hand on it, and now David Chris, the lefty, knocks down a three. And Washington defense turned it into offense. You see what happened though. Washington can't play slow. If they play slow, they'll lose this game by 40 points trying to catch up right now. They're using their defense to speed it up, and that way you get open looks. It's not about when you shoot the ball. It's about the quality of shot that you get. May dumps it off. Little patient. Had it stripped. That was Carter. He knocks it away. Timeout on the floor. 10-23 left, and Kobe White got to cook it early. Kobe White, a little pity pat. Recognized, sees the three-point line, steps to his right, bang. All right, let's take a look at the Pizza Hut tournament summary. Tennessee in a thriller in overtime, holding off Iowa. And the SEC now with four teams in the sweep, 16. Kentucky, LSU, Auburn, and Tennessee making it to the sweet 16. That was quite a game. Iowa was down 25, had a furious comeback. Force it into overtime, and then Grant Williams, six points in overtime, and Tennessee hung on to win. And now we shift to the Midwest region here. North Carolina is the top seed, and the nine seed, Washington. Robinson misses the three. Bible flying high for the board. Eight point lead for the Heels. Simmons has been setting some great screens down there for Washington. If you're a guard, come off of him. Use his big body to free up some space. Now Jamal Bay on the floor for the first time. And that is a rebound ripped by Robinson. I think Thibault thought he had it. North Carolina so quick. Nasir Little. Ultra athletic Little with a putback by May. Dangerous inside, especially on the second chance opportunities. Washington already known to be out rebounded by their opponents by about seven a game. So North Carolina, they're plus 10 on the boards against their opponents. They're going to try to take advantage of that inside matchup tonight. Plus seven so far. It's going to be an offensive foul. David Crisp, who fouled out with eight minutes left in their first round matchup against Utah State. It's called for the push off. I think he popped White in the face. Yeah, and, and this is why you have to adjust on the fly. North Carolina is so big in size that even when you get inside, you're going to have to shoot over the trees. That's why maybe Chris should switch up, let another guard penetrate, be the decoy, attract the defense. Therefore, he can get the ball with the defense running at him, where the defense will be at his mercy because of his shooting off the dribble. He's quick and he can finish inside. Chris had an offensive foul that fouled him out yesterday in a tight game at the time, even though Washington finished with a 17 point victory. Kobe White, another three on the way, and another three rattles home. Come on. Kobe White hit four threes. Four out of five. He's got 12 to lead all scores. And he's doing it on the defensive end. He's taking the challenge on both sides, making sure that he plays great D on Chris. Just drew the offensive charge. 
Johnson has Thibel, gives it up. Crisp. Noel returns a favor. Crisp for three. And it's May with the rebound. Luke oh. May has nine points already and five boards. Up ahead to Little. Draws the double. And Dickerson just rips it away from him. Chris, call it for it. Gets it. And back into the set now, Washington. Chris has a mismatch with May on him. That's when he should try to attack. Right now, the guard just got back to him. This here, Little on him now. North Carolina knocked out Washington in their last NCAA tournament meeting. That was back in 2011. Also a round of 32. Dickerson fighting hard. Gets it to go. Strong mm -hmm. like ball. Noah Dickerson. Johnson up ahead. Transition three. Nasir Little is fouled. And it goes. Boy, they put so much pressure even after makes. Does it officially go in his transition? But North Carolina can do it always. I'm Greg Noble in New York with Game Zone, delivered by Pizza Hut. The top seed in the NCAA tournament, the Duke Blue Devils, led by Zion Williamson, arriving ahead of their East Region matchup with ninth seed UCF down in Columbia, South Carolina. Tip time is 525 Eastern time here on CBS. Brian, Chris, Allie, back to you. All right, Greg, thank you. Looking forward to that. Zion Williamson, huh? You what see how player. he walks in? He walks in like he's jumping. His calves, you, you can just see an athlete, boy. He's so exciting to watch. It's going to be fun watching him later. He is drawing a major spotlight. Duke and North Carolina played one of the great games of the regular season. It was in the ACC tournament. And prior to North Carolina's win yesterday, that was their last game. But Zion Williamson went for 30-plus. It's been great watching those two all year in the ACC, North Carolina and Duke. So much star power. But today it is a freshman for the Tar Heels that has caught fire. Kobe White already with 12 points. White's already hit four threes. Think about this. He was really struggling from behind the arc and made just three for 20 from three-point range. In his last three games, that got him into tournament play, two in the ACC tournament, and then in his first game in the NCAA tournament. Different story so far today. 14-point Carolina lead. And as they bang inside, Sterling Manley getting his first minutes of the game. He played late minutes in their victory against Iona. Talk us through Kobe White's start here, Chris. Kobe White, he's a shoot first guard, but he's not selfish. He's just good. He will get you involved using his speed and his quickness, but right now causing havoc for the Washington defense. One of the great scores at the high school level, 3,000 point score in the state of North Carolina. And Kobe White disrupts that one, almost get a steal. Shot clock is ticking, down to five. Thibel into the corner for Carter. It's a three, right at the end of the shot clock. Making something out of nothing, the Huskies of Washington. Carter has eight, he's hit two threes. Much heart for this Washington team. They're undersized, but yet they're fighting inside on the glass. Looks like a push off that time. It's all about Mr. Dickinson, baby. He's in there working his butt off. Sterling Manley, who has dealt with some knee problems this year, picks up his second foul. Spot minutes for Luke May. Under seven to go in this first half. Yesterday, Carolina scored 33 points in the first half, or two days ago, against Iona on Friday. They've already got 34 on the board. Dangerous pass. Here's Noel. Gotta have that if you're Washington. You better get back if you're Washington, too. Kobe White losing the handle. Chris into the hands of Johnson. And White will get it organized now. This Washington zone. Coach Williams on the sideline yelling at his guys to cut and look for that slot spot in the middle. Right there to Little. And Little has a block from behind. That was Thibel. Got his hands on it. Ends up in the hands of the point guard, Crisp. Noel looking for the big man. Manley's a big body in there. Sterling Manley at 6'11", guarding Dickerson now. He's only 6'6", and a travel. Turnover, Huskies. 
Again, just because you get by Thibault, don't fall for it. Check your rear view mirror and look at that. You know he's pumped up. Yeah, he's pointing. You could be a referee too, Dan. We know which way the ball is going to go. <laughs> Stat Greg wore the microphone for us on Friday. It's about as entertaining as it could be. He is into it. Yeah, Thibault, there he is Come on, with man. the steal. He had five steals in Washington's win against Utah State. He averages three and a half steals a game, the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year. Already two steals and two blocks for Thibel. Dickerson gives it right back. Here's Chris for three, and he's fouled. Seventh Woods on the floor for the first time here today. Fouls Chris, and he'll shoot three. You have to love this if you're a Washington fan. It's the follow through. You have to let the player land. But yes, Washington plays with a slow pace, but you can still speed it up and be deliberate. That time they were deliberate, even with the pace, took their time, got the best shot possible, which was a foul. 64% free throw shooter knocks down the first a reminder you can get complete coverage of the NCAA division one women's tournament right now It's at NCAA.com for all the details Final four for the women April 5th and 7th Substitutions for the Huskies as white sits Dominic Green will return to the game Naziah Carter the sophomore will sit and Nasir little to the bench as well Second free throw for Chris. One out of two. I beg your pardon. Two out of three. Leaky Black on the floor for North Carolina. The freshman. The point at the defense for the zone of Washington may want to stay back by the free throw line. Carolina's gotten too many passes inside that slot position. They and Johnson and Williams. Another one that's deflected, and another North Carolina turnover. Here's Crisp on the take. Hey, oh, oh goodness, wow. Crisp goes down hard on the right shoulder. Man, he's tough. Wow. <laughs> he popped right he up. He just popped right up like a running back. He doesn't care. Yeah, no Going whistle here, in. just lost it out of bounds. Oh, man, direct contact with the floor. Great no call by the official. Sometimes you can fall into the fact that, wait, if he fell so hard. No, the defensive player was vertical. There's the spot, May. No, Black flying high. Timmons right to May, and May again, and finally Noel comes away with it. Well, Leaky Black was up there. Oh, man, eight, nine offensive rebounds for North Carolina. I'm sorry, seven offensive rebounds for North Carolina, only one for Washington. Yeah, they're plus seven in the rebounding category overall. Nine-point game, though, Washington. A chance to get a little closer, and it's Noel, and that's what he does best. He can finish with the best of them. On the attack, Woods trips and falls. And a foul on the play. And the foul is going to belong to David Crisp. 7-0 run for Washington. North Carolina has been susceptible to the drive, surprisingly, especially with all the sides inside that can come and help from the weak side, but more importantly, given by the tough defense of the Carolina guards. And an early decision here with 4.06 to go. Chris picking up his second foul. Mike Hopkins trusts him, but after fouling out in round one, He's got Carter back on the floor. It makes him extremely long, especially with Timmons anchoring the back of that zone. And a steal, Noel. Washington picking him apart. Step into a three. Naziah Carter. No, it's Black with the board. Leaky Black. Inside to May. Gets to his spot, off the window, as textbook as it gets. Oh, you knew he was going to make that when you saw that right leg kick out while he was shooting off the glass in the gym, getting some extra work in, and you love that by the senior big man. He's made half his shots. He's got 11 points, seven boards already. Three of those are offensive rebounds. Carter knocks it down. Williams was right with him, but Carter called. 
Elm and hits the jumper. Well, Carter, 10 points. He's doing what this team needs tonight. Chris in foul trouble, but also can't get by the defense of the Washington guards as easy as he would like. But he has some help. Cameron Johnson. Oh, he hits a three. Hit the deck as well. Three-pointer is good for Cameron Johnson. Transfer from Pitt, second year with Carolina. 47% three-point shooter during the regular season. Average nearly 17 a game. Thibel, ball's moving well. With Carolina right there with him at every step. Isaiah Carter now trying to create on his own. Nothing there. Oh, double dribble maybe missed. Dominic Green in the corner, and it's May with the board. Number eight for Luke May. In transition, Seventh Woods gives it up. Here's Williams for three. Air ball, and a foul on May. That'll take us to a timeout. 2.17 left in this first half. Ten-point lead for Roy Williams. Columbus, Ohio, the site. Trip to the Sweet 16 in the offing. Kobe White and the North Carolina Tar Heels. And a ten-point lead over the nine seed, the Washington Huskies, who cleaned up in the postseason awards. Washington not only won a Pac-12 regular season title, their coach was coach of the year. They had the player of the year in Jalen Noel and the defensive player of the year in Matisse Stiebel. He lost to Oregon in the Pac-12 tournament title game. Oregon will be underway a little bit later today. Coming out of the timeout, Dibble in and out. And the rebound ripped down by Nasir Little. Look at the pace by Carolina. The IQ of this Carolina team is just so great. They have the pace and the players to execute Coach Williams' plan. Check in with Ali LaForce with a report on Garrison Brooks. What do you have, Ali? Yeah, guys, Brooks not having a good day. He has a lacerated lower lip. Uh, he received stitches from the team doctor. He also had a tooth knocked out that is loose that a local doctor is working on and another tooth that is potentially broken. Wow. Thanks for that report, Ali. Well, he took a shot, took an elbow to the face on a basket. He was defending Noah Dickerson. Ball is on the ground, and it's another North Carolina turnover. Tell you what, I'd love to be at a Washington practice to see how they get after it in their shell drills and defensively. This is just something awesome to watch because they're undersized, and they're doing it right now, trying to keep it steady, especially on the defensive boards, and more importantly, with their hands in the passing lane. Ten North Carolina turnovers. By the way, Garrison Brooks might return to this game if they can get him patched up. We'll keep an eye on him. Thibel got fouled as he loses the handle. This was the elbow that knocked him out of the game. There was no foul called here. It was a two-point basket by Dickerson. They actually went to the monitor to review. And uh, boy, just a lot going on there with Garrison Brooks. So, Roy Williams got some spot minutes from Sterling Manley in this one. Monsieur Little joins Luke May right now. Thibel with May on him. Inside. Dickerson goes strong and a foul. And one. Noah Dickerson. There are some players that you just marvel at. What they summon out of their body, out of their size and their skill. And right now, Dickerson undersized inside. Going to work. And as he says right there, and one. The old-fashioned way, three-pointer. Dickerson, 69% free throw shooter. Can't convert on a three-point opportunity. But Washington has cut it to eight. Under a minute to go in this first half. North Carolina jumped out of the gates quickly. At 33 points on the board in the first eight minutes. Here's May. He's got it going, too. He and Kobe White have been the offense. And Luke May now at 13. May has had some pretty shots to turn around off the glass with the leg kick. And right there was a nice, quick, efficient step back for the jumper. 25 of the 41 points for Carolina coming from May and White. Noel, tough pass. Got to its target. Now inside Dickerson, and he's fouled again. Well, those are dangerous passes, and you can see Roy Williams stomping mad on that Carolina sideline. Free throws for Dickerson. The foul belongs to Kobe White, his second. And two shots here for Dickerson. 
senior from Atlanta. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Greg, Clark, Wally, and Chuck. They'll have first half analysis, plus a look at the showdown between UCF 7-6 Taco Fall and the Duke sensation Zion Williamson. That's coming up next on CBS, and it's all coming up AT&T at the half. Dickerson missed them both. Oh. Out of bounds off of Carolina. Washington ball with 17-2 left. Good hustle, the extra possession, the extra play by Thibault. We know what he can do on the defensive end, but right there, just his will and effort getting the rebound. Carolina had it right where they wanted. They're scoring well, they're getting threes. Suddenly a turn here. The turnover started to stack up. Kobe White just picked up his second foul. And now a chance at the last shot for the Huskies. Down 10, here's Thibault on the take. Short, put back, good! Noah Dickerson! Makes it an eight-point game. North Carolina led by 14. Washington closed to seven twice, and they'll hit the halftime locker room down eight. The Huskies defense allowing them to hang around. Seven steals for Washington. That's the end of the first half. 41-33, AT&T at the half. Coming up next. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Subaru. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Pizza Hut, official pizza of March Madness. And by Sherwin-Williams. Painting questions? Ask Sherwin-Williams. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Samsung Galaxy Buds. The all-new 2019 Ford Ranger, the only adventure gear built Ford Tough. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Push button, get mortgage. And by Taco Bell. Sometimes you gotta live moss. What a great host they've been here in Columbus, Ohio, the Cap City. It's been fun. North Carolina and Washington ready for the second half to win these first half stats. Both teams shot the ball well. North Carolina basically a tale of two halves in the first half. They were rolling early in the first half. Kobe White hitting four threes and now a turnover. Kenny Williams is hobbling. He's grabbing his hamstring. Boy, not a good sign for North Carolina. Not a great sign, and he did it on a steal, and this is what you want. Look, can get it in the passing lane. They have pushed the guards from Washington out. You see right here, I believe it's his left one. Is that the one that he grabs, Jess? And mm -hmm. they're hoping he gets some great attention on the bench, and that is not too serious. Early minutes of the second half for Brandon Robertson. Boy, it does look mm. serious on the bench as Carolina's best perimeter defender is out. By the way, speaking of injury, Garrison Brooks is on the floor, had a tooth knocked out, and several stitches to close up a cut on the lip in that first half. So many players in high school, college, and the pros go through that. Coach tell you to put your nose in there, and only the brave ones really do. Brooks is one of the brave ones, but I expect him to come out and still attack the glass. He and May inside. So it's Cameron Johnson with Kobe White going up top for Brooks. And Brooks still being aggressive. Had it swatted away on his way up. It was Dickerson. And Noah Dickerson, whose elbow knocked the tooth out. And Garrison Brooks, they get together. Dickerson's got a patch on his elbow from that tooth. Three-pointer is it. Looks at his boy Tyler and says, thank you very much. Helping me get an open look. And right away, how fast was that? As Cameron Johnson, after the make, sets up shop in the corner. Carolina has a quick answer. You can't even look to the bench for a defense adjustment when you're playing Carolina unless you're sprinting back looking at the sideline because Carolina pushes it on makes and misses. Do not relax against them. Now Dickerson goes to work, gives it up. Crisp, hounded by White. Crisp, there's a deflection. And let's see, is it off Thibel? No, it's off 
Cam Johnson. It'll be Washington ball, eight on the shot clock. Let's hear from Allie LaForce. Guys, I talked to both coaches at the half. Coach Hopkins said we're doing it to ourselves. The missed free throws before the half, and then we gave up 10 second chance points. He said rebounds and free throws are something we talk about every single day. We have to clean that up. Williams said we turned it over 24% of the time in that first half. Cannot afford those turnovers. And he also said they missed Brooks. They're glad to have him back. All right, thanks, Allie. Good report. Shot clock to one and a violation. Chris lost control of time. So, Chris, looking back at that first half for North Carolina, their first 12 minutes, they scored 34 points. They were 13 for 24, had four turnovers. Then, in the final eight minutes of the first half, just seven points, just three made baskets in the last eight minutes, and turned it over six times. There were five steals for Washington as that zone defense that carried over from the Syracuse zone of Jim Beheim put the clamps down. May, jump hook, no, gets his own, not there. And Dickerson pulls down the board. Chris has received the ball and made a nice three-pointer off of passing and penetration. Let's see if he does it again. He's going to have to trust his teammates to get him open looks. Now Dickerson going to work with Brooks on him, gives it up. Amir Wright, who only played three and a half minutes in the first half. More minutes from Naziah Carter and Dominic Green in the first half. Shot clock gets late again. Wright's going to jack one up. Good defense by the heels. Kobe White. Now Robinson with May coming up for the screen. May wide open in there. And May had a block. Tyler. That's what he does best. He can retreat with the best. Of, oh, got another one. Ends up in the hands of Johnson, who nails the mid-range jumper. <laughs> I mean, these guards are going to have dreams about Thibault coming behind them. Even when you're wide open, you're not, because he's coming behind you to swat it away. Great job defensively, but North Carolina still finishing strong this out. Thibault, a block and two steals. Here's Chris. Fakes the pass. And Amir Wright kept it alive, but into the hands of May. In transition, Kobe White lost the handle. Brooks able to save it. May for three. Yes! in Washington. It wasn't the prettiest transition possession, but Luke May turns it into something nice after he's blocked by Thibel. Washington ball here, and we remind you, delicious orange vanilla Coke. Really wanted to be the official drink for timeouts, and now it is. David Chris, the point guard of the Huskies. Noel, player of the year in the Pac-12. Noel, a little jumper, is short. Here comes Kobe White, head up. Carolina runs the lanes. Washington does a good job getting back. Mike Hopkins going to make a move here. Naziah Carter set to come back in. Gave him some good offense, 10 points in that first half. Here's White, three-pointer, no. Man, run down by Dickerson. Boy, he really fought for that board. For Washington, it's only the second time they have faced a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Lost out of bounds. That'll be North Carolina ball. The last time they met at number one was in 2006 when they faced UConn in the regional semifinals. High scoring affair then. Different story these days in Seattle. Mike Hopkins and company, a defensive minded group. Top 45 team defensive rating this year. 95 and a half was their defensive rating this season. Holding opponents to under 65 a game. May on a good look. Big to big passing. Garrison Brooks to Luke May. He's so adept in finishing inside. And again, when you can score and pass, you put the defense in the catch 22. They don't know what to do because once you get going, you can adjust and look to the corner and look as the game wears on. Watch May start finding those guys from that slot position in both opposite corners, trying to get them wide open looks. This is a 10-0 run for North Carolina. They go up 15, late clock again. Timmons, and a foul. Cameron Johnson got him on the arm, and the big man from New Zealand will head to the line. Timeout on the floor. Take a look at the double take replay presented by Orange Vanilla Coke. It's the step back three by Kobe White. Well, he had it going early. 
Kobe White scored all of his points in the first 11 minutes. North Carolina saw their freshman go for 82 threes this year, set a freshman record at UNC. He's only taken one shot, though, since those first 11 minutes when he racked up 12 points on four of six shooting from behind the arc. Sam Timmons at the line. And he misses them both, and Carolina can keep their run alive here. 15-point lead for North Carolina, the top seed. We're in the Midwest region here. The winner will be headed to Kansas City starting on Friday as Luke May jump hook. Luke May, how much has he improved over his time at North Carolina? You want to talk about player development? He's been there for his team. And Nobody wants this more than the senior. Isaiah Carter. Mike Hawkins is desperate for offense right now. Offensive board by Timmons. Here's Thibel now on the drive. Drops White. In and out. Washington can't buy a basket. And do they have enough to come back? And the firepower. It's not a team that scores it well. They rely on their defense. Luke May sitting on 20 points right now, Chris. 20 points, 10 boards. This is what you want to do. We've talked about this all day against the zone. Coming in behind it. And this, too, is though, is where you have to adjust. If you're only going to show me one look as a team, we will figure you out. And North Carolina can figure out if you have several looks. Washington needs to adjust. Maybe switch it up, go to man-to-man, -to -man or some type of a press. Because North Carolina, once they get comfortable with what you're doing, they're going to eat you alive. It just looks like North Carolina is in control right now. Controlling the pace. May's got a double-double. Kobe White at the line. Looking for his first point since the first 11 minutes, and he's still being shut out since. Hey, who delivered the Buick Expectation Shattering Performance of the Day? You can tune in to Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, to find out. Well, we have had some performances today. We saw Tennessee and Iowa go to overtime in our first game here in Columbus. Tennessee never trailed, won the game. North Carolina has never trailed. Washington missing their last five field goal attempts and their last six free throws. Where does the offense come from for the Huskies? The freshman, Jamal Bay, runs into a wall. White steals it, is fouled. David Crisp with the foul. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. What do you have, Ali? Well, I've been listening to Coach Hopkins, and he thinks they're doing a pretty good job defensively. But on offense, he said, we have to attack the closeouts. We're just holding the ball. He said, we can get this back, but we need to execute. And this is a guy that can instill confidence in the best of them. Matisse Thibel told me yesterday that he'll just yell at him in practice and say, you're Superman, you're Deion Sanders, whatever it takes. He'll look you in the eye and say, you're the greatest shooter of all time. If anyone can instill confidence in his team to make a comeback, it's this coach. Well, Matt Hawkins of the Seattle Times wrote a great article and asked a great question, asked some of the craziest things as Carolina turns it over with a travel and what I loved about the piece is there are times some examples when Hopkins would get into the to the bench in a 10 situation get the whiteboard and just draw a smiley face <laughs> yesterday he told him you're right you're the key to this when he was all over him in practice then he said I think you need me to spoon you here show the love he does instill that encouragement that's the first i've heard by coach right there whatever it takes coach and here is hamir right and he knocks down a three a little spooning helps there's williams who left looked like grabbing at his left hamstring and back and forth on that north carolina bench and Roy Williams getting an update from Doug Halverson, longtime trainer. Wild shot by May, little on the floor. Shot clock at 11. Here's Brooks. No, and it's little the rebound. Multiple opportunities on this side of the floor. How about that? Kenny Williams tells his coach, I'm good to go. And he's back in. You have to love that relationship between the player and the coach. Many times you have to send that message down through the bench. He says, no, 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 I'm a big part of this team. Let me tap coach and let him know personally I want to get back in. Now let's hope it's just cramping in the hamstring. He looks like he's moving all right. We'll keep an eye on him. May in the paint gives it up. White, quick release on the three, and it's another offensive rebound. May blocked from behind, and it's finally Washington ball. 
So the offensive glass for the heels. So impressed though by the fight of Washington. But you can only be impressed for a little bit longer because you only have about two more minutes to get back in this game. Yes, it's 13 minutes left. I, I understand that, but I also understand the game and the rhythm of the game and that you can't play with a team like North Carolina and hope that you're going to make some miraculous comeback a la Iowa in our first game tonight. That doesn't happen. You really have to stay in zone and somebody right now on the Washington side has to take it upon themselves to get a big bucket. Thibel runs into a wall. Here's Bay, the freshman, and another three. So Hamir White snapped a 13-0 run. Now Bay hits the three. White, some fancy dribbling. What a finish, man. Lightning fast all the way down the floor after the make. Kobe White. Wow. Well, he has some gears to his game. It's probably been the best improvement that we've seen from Kobe White this year. The fact that he can take it down a gear. He can downshift every now and then. Use the changeup at times. He's not just always going as fast as he can. Turnover. That was poked away from behind. Well, Bay knocks it out of bounds. North Carolina ball. And the Tar Heels running and gunning. Lead it by 14. Need to check your bracket? Hey Siri, show me the NCAA tournament schedule. Columbus, Ohio, our second half game summary brought to you by Ford as North Carolina's up 14 with the ball. Luke May, a double-double, 20 points, 11 boards. Carolina with 11 offensive rebounds. And they're plus 16 in the overall rebounding stat. Washington, make sure you keep an eye on the wing. Kobe White. Ball's moving around the perimeter. This is Little for three. Nasir Little, just a 26% three-point shooter, hits one for Carolina. It's starting to get demoralizing for the Washington Huskies. Every time Washington slipped, no defense on the perimeter allowed the ball to move around the wings. They haven't let that happen a lot. Noel, nice finish. Boy, he is some kind of closer at the rim. Kobe White coming back fast. Dickerson with a block. And out of bounds, last touch by the Huskies. Now attack mode for the heels. Check this out. And the time on the clock. So they are averaging eight seconds to get a shot off. And when he's in attack mode, his little scores again. Chris, when he's in attack, I mean, they're, they're scoring three and four seconds into it. And that's even after made baskets by the opposition. The most balanced team probably in all of college basketball. You see Bay, the freshman, knock down another big shot right there, trying to keep his team in it. But trust me, there are some coaches right now scouting this Carolina team saying, how are we going to stop them? If we go to zone, they have the slot in Little and May. If we go to man to man, we can be beat by the speed and the three-point shooting and the size on the boards. Just such a balanced team, and we know they're well coached. Tough matchup for Washington here. Certainly Carolina. There's a pick by Thibel. Got his hands on one. Another deflection. But you know, Carolina sees Syracuse. They see that Jim Beheim zone. Longtime assistant under Beheim, Mike Hopkins, running this zone for Washington. That's been a secret weapon for them as Thibel rattles in and out. Luke May's been a big part of breaking this zone for Washington. Definitely. There are some teams that love to be zoned, that love to have pick and rolls called, and North Carolina is one of them. They're having their way. This is a drill. He didn't make the shot, but that's the drill. This is a drill. A coach throws it to you in the slot, you turn around and shoot it, and that's all they're doing. And I want to see Washington make some adjustments right now. Right now, you're down 14. You can't rely on your scoring. Maybe start to a full court press and move the pressure up, but zones don't always work. You have to adjust. Dickerson on the drive. Gets his zone. May keeps it alive. And Little pokes it out of bounds. It'll be Washington ball. Dickerson is down. And looking to his bench. Got that patch on his elbow. An elbow that knocked the tooth of Garrison Brooks out in that first half. And Mike Hopkins will give him a breather just as Brooks comes into the game. Winded. I would not be surprised if Brooks gets a monster dunk. He already tried it when he got back in. He's taken one for the team as far as his tooth and in the mouth, and he just wants to get something going. Right now, playing great defense on the perimeter. Amir Wright kicks it. Thibel 
Nothing there. North Carolina defense is right with him, step for step. Now right. Ball's moving. Everybody's touching it. And Chris, high off the window. Noel pulls down the board. A lot of defense here. Right for three. Missed opportunity for Washington. A chance to get it within 11. Cam Johnson, no. Offensive board. Bay is on the ground with it. They'll give him a timeout. It'll be a held ball. And possession arrow belongs to North Carolina. Mike Hopkins wanted to get this game ugly. There have been times of that. Second half of the first half was in Washington's favor for the second year coach. And North Carolina has come out of the halftime locker room and they've been able to do what they want. And Coach Hopkins understands that you must make an adjustment before it's panic time. You can't make an adjustment in panic time and expect your team to have their head on their shoulders the correct way. You must do something while there's still a glimmer of hope so you can build on positive plays for your momentum. North Carolina finishing the year AP number three. Oh, oh, he was going for a power dunk, a whistle, and a foul on Hamir Wright. Oh, and Nasir Little was flying high and right. Who was told yesterday no dunks made sure this one didn't go down. Teaching tape on how to attack the rim. Free throws for the terrific freshman from Florida, Nasir Little, hits the first. Tonight on 60 Minutes, here's Samuel L. Jackson's unique Hollywood story, as only he can tell it, plus the multi-billion dollar world of legal sports betting. That's tonight on 60 Minutes. Two for two for Nasir Little. Guarantee Samuel Jackson is somewhere watching this game right now. Big basketball fan. A tough guy, too, and I know he wants Washington to play as tough as they can, not to give up, but to try to get back in this game. And right now, Noel doing his best to do that. Checked it up on the green. Noel nifty behind the back. And the little mid-range jumper gives him 12. He is 6 of 8 shooting here today. Washington's made seven threes. Here's Little inside again. He caught it deep. No one's going to go up there in that territory. If you don't adjust, I just wonder where do you think the change is going to come? Guys are creatures of habit, and once you let them get a little bit of confidence, they're going to keep knocking down shots. So you think a North Carolina player is going to knock down the shot in the paint like they're blocking shots on this end by Little? And White up ahead. Brooks running the floor. And finds the there is the two-handed chip. The heels in all of their athletic glory right now. Nasir Little, best player on the floor in the last few minutes. The world's best vibe for the coveted green jacket. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters, April 11th through the 14th on CBS. Jim Nance and company, they'll be there at Augusta. Jim Nance and company awaiting the Zion show as the Duke Blue Devils will be next up as a top seed. There's three number one seeds coming out of the ACC. Virginia, North Carolina, and Duke. UCF and Duke will be next on the CBS slate. Washington gets deep in the clock again. It's down to eight. Thibel with little on him. And Thibel with the left hand scores. Nice penetration right there by the defensive stopper for Washington now. With he and Crisp at the front, can they communicate and make sure maybe one of the three in the 3-2 zone can drop back because, again, they're going into the slots to Little, and he is just hitting there like it's like it's Groundhog Day. The same play every time. They're exposing that for Washington. First basket for Matisse Thibel. And a long range three is down by Cameron Johnson. First team all, ACC. He has been the difference maker for the North Carolina Tar Heels. Nasir Little had scored 11 straight points for Carolina until that three-pointer by Johnson. What a sharp shooter he's been this year, 47%. Bay passed up a three. Now Crisp, open for three. Hit the front of the rim into the hands of Williams. Good look right there by Washington. That's what you want. Don't get frustrated. Six minutes left. You still have to make a run. You're getting good looks. Here's Little. 
Takes the contact and still scores. Boy, has he been good. 13 second half points for Nasir Little. He's got 18 for the game. This is just, this is patience within a fast-paced offense. You can't have that patience, and look at that finish. Just throw me a muscle up there and show me how strong you are. As he gets the ball knocked out of his hands and lets you know how he feels, he says, look, not even a low block, not even a hand can stop him. That's a great run for Nasir Little. He scored 19 in Carolina's win over Iona in round one. Had 19 points in just 17 minutes. About as efficient as you could do it. Carter. Well, he just can't get the little floater to go. Washington needs every basket they can get. Back into the hands of Carter. Great save by Thibel. And Johnson can't corral it. Washington ball. How about that steal by Thibel? And, and this year, Shane Battier, New Orleans Noel. Thibel joined you guys' club. He's exclusive, one of three, including you two, of players that have averaged two or more steals and blocks in a season. Now Shane Battier did it for Duke, did it twice actually. 99 and 2000, and then the next year, 2000, 2001. Nerland's Noel with Kentucky back in the 12, 13 season. And that guy, Matisse Thibel, third player to average two and two blocks and steals in a season. Nickerson at the line. 21 point North Carolina lead. Dickerson was so great against Utah State. Hey, this program notes CBS News will present the Mueller Report, the turning point. It's tomorrow night at 10 9 Central, and it's only CBS. And Dickerson. With the free throw, one out of two. Two out of two, I should say. Uh, 72-53. 5.15 remaining. All Carolina here in this one. Looking to advance to the Sweet 16 once again. Look to their 17th one seed. Washington has 17 NCAA tournament appearances as Kobe White finishes at the rim. I mean, he just changed gears within four steps. He, he, you know, he had a live dribble, avoided the charge on Dickerson with a strong finish. Noel on the attack. With Williams on him. Noel. And into the hands of Carter. Four and a half to go. Noel in the corner. You know that Noel can score. He's had 10 games with 20 or more. Look at me get out and oh. run. Great block right there. Getting back on defense by Dickerson. And in transition, see if Washington can take advantage. Carolina gets back. Here's Nas Carter. Well, the shots just aren't falling for Washington right now. 21 for 52. They've missed 31 shots in this game. So impressed with Kobe White. He does not play like a freshman. Mature, getting the ball into his big fella, Sam. We know you lost a tooth and got some stitches. Go ahead and give us some points. We'll get you home. Take care of you. Put some ice on that. Let you rest up. Trying to get to the Sweet 16 now. Important things to do. Now, Sweet 16 here in the Midwest region starts on Friday in Kansas City. Gonna go. A block on Dickerson. Wave it off. And we'll take a timeout. No basket as they call the foul. Back after this. We ATT takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day. First the block, then the two-handed jam by Nasir Little. North Carolina dominating on both ends here in the second half. 76-53. Nasir Little on the bench. Great minutes for him once again today. 18.6 rebounds. Three of those were offensive boards. Thibel has just one made basket today as Kobe White pulls down the rebound. Love the fact.
that North Carolina, whether they are up or down, they play with the same tempo and pace. Therefore, you won't have any slack when you get up and you keep the same intensity. Johnson unable to hit the three. There's Brooks and he's fouled. Noah Dickerson got him. Good to see Garrison Book Brooks come back on the floor. Knocked out of that first half, lost a tooth, had stitches. And he'll have a memory of this one. And a bloody lip. Garrison Brooks from the Fet, Alabama. Not able to connect on the first. Don't forget, CBS coverage continues next. Number nine, UCF, and the one seed, Duke. 5 p.m. Eastern on TNT, Infinity NCAA tip-off show, followed by Buffalo and Texas Tech. And then it's 7.10 Eastern on TBS, Liberty and Virginia Tech. True TV has Oklahoma and Virginia. And that's enough for Garrison Brooks, says Roy Williams. Gritty effort by the Carolina big man. Under three minutes to go. That'll be the end of the line for the Washington Huskies. First appearance since 2011 in the NCAA tournament. They've got a good thing going in Seattle. Three-pointer Dominic Green playing in his final games, his final minutes here. The senior from Renton, Washington. And Crisp is a senior. Matisse Thibel a senior. Noah Dickerson, Dominic Green. These are all players that Mike Hopkins, when he came from Syracuse to take over, had to recruit, had to convince to stay. And they have jump-started his career as a head coach. I'll tell you what, he's going to have to recruit, but I don't think he's going to have to convince anyone else to stay in this program. Once you see the experience, once you see the IQ, how he allows players to get off and the defensive intensity. Here's Crisp. And that's the way it's gone here in the second half for Washington. This is a team, the only team in the country with 4,000 point scores. All their points coming from their current school. There were no transfers. And it speaks to the ability of Mike Hopkins and his staff and Cameron Doll Dollar and Dave Rice. Good days ahead for this Huskies program. Meanwhile, North Carolina. And their 17th number one seed, which is a record on their way to their 28th Sweet 16 appearance. Kentucky advancing to the Sweet 16 yesterday. They are second. They have 27. And North Carolina with 28 Sweet 16s. Roy Williams. We're on his way to the 18th, and they're going to empty the bench. Mike Hopkins gets those guys been on the practice squad and the scout team in the game. And a great hand. Both coaches emptying the benches. 27 victories for the Washington Huskies. They went 15-3 in conference. And those seniors, including Dominic Green, playing for the last time in that Huskies uniform. I think Mike Hopkins, Hopkins doesn't know that it's a journey, that this is the start of a process. He's encouraging his fans, too, of how to be, telling the Washington fans, stand up and cheer for these guys' effort, because we're going to be back here again. Jason Crandall, Elijah Hardy on the floor for the Huskies. Assistant coach's son, Travis Rice, the son of Dave, gets some minutes here. Quinn Bernard, they could say they competed in an NCAA tournament game. Brandon Huffman, Walker Miller on the floor for North Carolina. Number three, Plata coming in, knocking it down. And again, why is it so important when you can empty the bench and let guys in the game? It's because these are the guys that got you here. These are the guys that practice, that take on the role all year. It's not just about the starters and the highlight makers. It's about the substance of the team, and you can't have substance without a bench that puts their starter to work every day in practice. K.J. Smith, Kenny Sun on the floor, and Caleb Ellis. If there is a chance in this game, 25 and white, Caleb Ellis. 
What a show he put on. Oh, the dunk in show? The, in the dunk oh, show at the workouts. I gave him four tens on two dunks. He is some kind of leaper. Coming to the finish line here, North Carolina getting ready to head to Kansas City as the top seed in the Midwest. And the shot clock is off. Great job here by the folks in Columbus across the board. The fans, all the personnel working this event. And a fantastic run. Elijah Hardy gets himself in the scorebook. And that's going to do it. The North Carolina Tar Heels are headed to the Sweet 16. Roy Williams is 18th. Sweet 16. That's number nine at North Carolina. Luke May was phenomenal here today. May goes for 20, 14 rebounds. And North Carolina advancing to take on Auburn. The Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, Kenny Smith debate will reign on. I think they may go old school unis in that one. Right. UNC and Auburn matching up in the Sweet 16 in Kansas City. It's a bracket that hosts Kentucky as well. Ohio State has a chance to join them. The home team here in Columbus. They'll be taking on Houston a little bit later. Great run for Noah Dickerson and the Washington Huskies. Dickerson finishing with 10 points and seven boards. Send it over to Allie LaForce with Mr. Double Double, Luke May. Hey Luke, congratulations on the win in your 15th Double Double of the year. You were in this gym at 8.45 in the morning, the only player to get in here early. How'd that pay off for you today? It was good. Um, uh, my teammates found me in some spots that I'm comfortable in and knocked some shots down. And big game out of Nas and Cam. I mean, Kobe shot the ball really well. And credit to my teammates, it was a great team win for us. It seems like on Friday and today, the second half has been where this team has shined. But in your tournament experience, as you go to the Sweet 16, how important is a full game of basketball? It's very important. I think um, coach got into us again first at halftime and we came out and played a lot better, played a lot better defensively and it was just a great win for us. We're looking forward to our next game. He'd get into you at halftime regardless, I think. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Congrats yeah. on the win, Thank Brian. You so much. All right. Thanks, Allie. The senior from Huntersville, North Carolina. The Heels going to their 29th Sweet 16. Roy Williams, this will be his 19th and his 10th in Carolina. They're moving on. The top seed. Coming up next here on CBS, it is UCF against Duke for Chris Weber and Allie LaForce and our great crew here, led in the truck by Scott Cockrell and Andrew Greathouse. I'm Brian Anderson saying so long from Columbus. We'll send you to our New York studio after these messages. The Tar Heels are moving on and the NCAA tournament.